Good morning. Welcome to the Bell and Pollock Legal Show. Gary Bell, Brad Pollock. We are injury attorneys. We bring the show to you to educate you and teach you about different injury subjects. We cover a different one each week. We have a whole host of shows. You can listen to them. We've covered everything from back injuries to neck injuries to depositions to settlement to calls to the adjuster. You know, and that was one of our more popular shows. What, what are you going to say on your first call to the adjuster? What's the adjuster going to say to you? How do you handle it? Do you know what to do? You can still listen to the podcast of our shows. They're all free. You can go to our website, championsofthepeople.com. On our website, we have podcasts of our shows. And on the homepage of this radio station, they have podcasts of our shows as well. They're all free. You can download them. You can play them. You can learn. We do this show to give you a chance to be on an equal playing field with the insurance company. Of course, there's insurance behind all these matters. Of course, there's an insurance company there. You just can't mention insurance at trial. They push you to trial. They want you to go to trial. They want you to file a lawsuit. And when you do, they blame it on you. They blame it on your lawyers. They say you're greedy. Your lawyers are greedy. And so, therefore, you're filing a lawsuit because you want all this money. You want money. And they try to make you feel even a worse victim than you are. They try to attack you. And they've been doing it for years. And, and the truth is you can't talk about settlement in trial. The truth is you, ta- you can't talk about insurance companies in trial in front of a jury. You can't mention the word insurance. You can't talk about settlement. You can't say, for example, the insurance company offers you $9,000, take it or leave it, and your medical bills were $20,000 and ongoing, and medical bills are just one part of your recovery. They won't pay anything for your physical pain and suffering. They won't pay anything for your physical injuries, your economic losses, your loss of quality of life. And then they blame it on you. You had to file this lawsuit because you want money. Well, yeah, you'd like your medical bills paid. You'd like to be fairly compensated for your injuries. And that's what we're going to talk about today, the litigation process. How does it evolve? How does it come about? How do you get to find yourself in it? And what kind of attorneys do you need if you get in it? Because let's face it, you know, we Brad and I do this uh, business every day. We've been doing it for over 25 years. And we've learned that some of these insurance companies put you to the task. Either take it or leave it on their low-ball offer, or they're going to make you file a lawsuit. And they're going to go pay their attorneys for the person who hits you. They're going to, the person who hits you pays nothing. The insurance company pays for that. So that's the big picture. We're going to talk about this. You know, Brad, but it, it starts, and we've done podcasts on this, it starts at the scene of the accident. It starts in the litigation process. But today we're talking about litigation. So you get to the point where you have to file litigation, and then they go after you. They certainly do. They they know they've got some things that are working in their favor that they're going to be able to uh, to to do because of the huge dollars that are poured into the lobbying efforts that are carried out by insurance companies to stack the deck, and because of the the laws they've been able to get passed and the way they want to keep the laws. Um, we're talking about the state of Colorado primarily, uh, as far as what these rules are. And you know, the first thing you have to understand when you're getting involved in the litigation process is you've just turned the process into a nine, six to nine months, maybe even a year ordeal. Some cases can take even longer than that. Um, it, you, you have to be willing to do that. You have to recognize it's worth it and it's something you want to do. Uh, the other thing you have to recognize is you're going to have to spend some time with your lawyer because anybody who, by the way, if you're trying to litigate this without a lawyer, don't do it. Uh, you need a lawyer. You have to have a lawyer involved. Small claims court is for people who don't have lawyers. If your case exceeds even a ten or fifteen thousand dollar level, you want to be getting a, a lawyer involved. Don't try and litigate against the insurance companies and their defense lawyers without your own lawyer. You know, and then when you get into litigation into a courtroom, and we're going to cover various aspects today that that you need to know about. But when you get into the courtroom, you know these insurance companies are like ghosts. And what does that mean? Like a ghost? And that means that you can't mention the word insurance in front of the jury. You can't mention it during a trial. So the jury then is left with thinking, let's say that an elderly person uh, T-bones you at an intersection. And so the jury is left thinking with the fact that uh, you are bringing this suit against uh, this 89-year-old person and their assets are at stake, which is not true. The insurance company is going to protect them up to the policy limits. And, uh, and so... Uh, and you can't mention that this 89-year-old person had insurance. And you can't mention that you really, really didn't want to sue them to begin with. And you can't mention the fact that the insurance company controls all decisions. Did you know that? All decisions. 
and forces the litigation. Did you know that if the 89-year-old person wanted to settle the case, they have no ability to mandate anything, not 1% of control. The insurance company controls controls everything. So when you're down to, you've been treating, you've been injured in an accident, that's what we're talking about today. You've been injured, you've been to multiple doctors. Let's say you have $50,000 in medical bills. Let's say the policy limits on the other side available to pay you is $250,000, but they're not going to pay you. And then they start the attack. They're, they're not even going to pay the amount of the medical bills. They're going to force you to file a lawsuit. And then they're going to hire attorneys. The insurance company will pay for the attorneys. And then they go after it. So Brad, let's talk about maybe the discovery process of people don't understand the discovery process, interrogatories, depositions, that sort of thing. And how does that work? And you better have a good attorney to do it for you. You're right. Uh, once the the lawsuit is filed, the complaints filed, and it gets served on the defendant, the defendant will take that lawsuit over to his insurance company, his or her insurance company, or its if it's corporation insurance company, and they'll give it to the insurance company. And, and from and at that point, the insurance company pretty much will say, "You have a duty to cooperate with us," which, by the way, cooperation means you're going to do what we say, when we say, how we say. Um, and after that, you, you leave it to us and we'll decide what happens. The defendant usually in most auto, in all, all auto crash cases really has very little to say about how much is going to get paid, when it's going to get paid, what should be done and what shouldn't be done. This is going to be decided by the adjuster who's now taken over the case with the defense lawyer. Those two are going to do it. The insurance company adjuster and the defense lawyer. Uh, and the first thing they're going to do is they're going to start figuring out how they can play the the discovery game. Uh, the, you know, before the case gets over and before it gets resolved, they're going to take the the injured person's deposition. There's no doubt they're going to take his deposition and it's going to be a formal proceeding that's going to be done either videotaped or not. But they're going to take it. There's no way they're going to stop from taking it and you might as well just get ready. That's going to take maybe somewhere around four to eight hours out of your day. If your attorney doesn't help you get prepared for the deposition, if your attorney doesn't call you in for an appropriate meeting, if necessary, more meetings than just one, and if the attorney doesn't give you a good explanation of what a deposition is, then you need a different plaintiff's lawyer. You right. don't want that lawyer. I mean, you do. So uh, does the discovery phase in litigation is very, very important. Uh, there are all, all kinds of phases that are very, very important. But discovery is, is one of them. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to clarify something. Uh, when Brad said a minute ago that the, you're involved in the accident, you're the victim, you're the injured person, the other person caused the accident. Well, the insurance company, you don't have you don't have to have a duty to cooperate with their insurance company. Mm -hmm. You only have a duty to cooperate with your own. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah, insurance company. So it's the at fault party who has to cooperate. Right. So let's get the, let's get there. You said that, but I'm not I, I'm not sure that people would understand it that way. So anyway, the at fault party, the one who caused the accident, who t bones you in our example today, uh, they have a duty to cooperate with their insurance company, uh, and that insurance company is your enemy, as you know. So let's let's just break this down. So we've said it many times before, the insurance company for the ad fault party pays attorney's fees by the hour, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars to these defense attorneys to defend this person called their insured, the person who T-bones you. They hire the lawyers. The person who T-bones you pays nothing. The insurance company for the person who T-bones you pays for any judgment, any settlement. And of course, they have up to policy limits, but there are circumstances where you can get past policy limits, and and that's another subject for another another show. But uh, so you need to understand that relationship first. Now, your relationship uh, as an injured victim, Brad, you don't really have anybody on your side. You really don't. Uh, you're gonna as an injured victim, the only person you really have on your side is the lawyer you've chosen to represent you, who's going to walk you through this fight. Uh, that that's who you've got. So you better be ready to go. Uh, sometimes. If you're, if you're not careful, you're, even your own doctors aren't going to be on your side because there are a number of doctors out there who, although they'll treat you and they'll, they'll care for you, they won't testify for you or they won't be willing to put in the time to testify for you without demanding and requiring extreme amounts of money. And th th that's just the way it is. Uh, they don't like to come to trial. They don't like to be testifying. They want to be in their offices. They want to be treating people. They want to be d doing their surgeries. They really don't want to be sitting in a trial. So uh, sometimes you as the injured victim, the only person you really have on your side is your lawyer. Everybody else is going to be very, very difficult to work with in the process. And so that's why you need to choose a, a, a good lawyer. You can call us anytime, Bell and Pollock. Our telephone number is 
5900. And in the mountain areas, Steamboat Springs and surrounding communities, 970-870-8989. Or you can go to our website, championsofthepeople.com at any time. We got a break coming up, but after the break, we're going to be talking more about discovery, more of the things you need to know to protect yourself, to give you an equal um, playing uh, chance or to get on an equal playing field with these insurance companies. Uh, we also, Brad and I have written a book. You're entitled to it. It's free if you want it. It's called Don't Get Hurt in the uh, Same Accident Twice, Once in the Accident and Again on the Insurance Claim. Don't Get Hurt Twice. If you want a copy of it, you just go to our website, championsofthepeople.com, click on the ebook. You can download it for free. And we cover some of the subjects we're talking about here today, as well as how to hire an attorney. Okay, you're listening to the Bell and Pollock Legal Show. We are injury attorneys. We're glad to bring you this show. We are Colorado's premier injury law firm, and we are your champions of the people. Ready for an extraordinary lunch? As fast or as slow as you want it? With all fresh ingredients, Caitlin's Restaurant has it all. Express lunches that won't keep you waiting. Or if you prefer, lunch served in that old-fashioned homemade style. All made fresh on the spot. Whether it's a fresh-made sandwich with homemade chips, quesadilla loaded with cheddar or jack cheeses, or scratch-made soups, you'll find everything you love at Caitlin's. Caitlin's is located on Mississippi just east of Colorado Boulevard next to Bookie's. How about green chili chicken stew? Think about a variety of fresh-made sandwiches or 11 different kinds of burgers made to order with one half pound of the finest USDA choice lean ground beef. You might favor a homemade New Mexican recipe with carne adovada burritos, chicken enchiladas, carnitas burritos served with hash browns, special recipe beans, cheeses with guacamole and your choice of homemade red or green chili sauces. For those who prefer the lighter side, there are fresh made salads and lighter fares. Sure to delight. Try Caitlin's for lunch or breakfast on Mississippi just east of Colorado Boulevard next to Bookies. Call 303-798-6600. You'll love it every bite of the way. What you see is what you get. What you don't hear is everything. Let's talk about silence, old-fashioned silence. What does silence have to do with injuries? I'm going to give you about three seconds of silence. Here you go. Silence is what you get just before a collision. Sometimes in accidents, fast turns to slow and noise turns to silence. Then the collision, then the injuries, then the life-changing event, then starts the battle with the insurance company. Hi, I'm Gary Bell of the law firm of Bell & Pollock. At Bell & Pollock, we understand that those three seconds of silence can turn your life upside down. We know how devastating injuries can be. You may not be able to work. You have medical bills. You need treatment. Listen, don't get hurt twice, once in the accident and again on the insurance claim. Talk to the lawyers who actually care about you, the injured victim. Bell & Pollock, Colorado's premier injury law firm. Our website is championsofthepeople.com or call us at 303-795-5900. One call, that's all. Good morning. Welcome back to the Bell and Pollock Legal Show. I'm Gary Bell, along with Brad Pollock. We're the owners of Bell and Pollock. We've been representing injured victims for over 25 years. I'll tell you what, you come into our law firm, we're going to give you a free legal game plan. We're going to give you a free initial consultation. But this legal game plan is so essential. We've developed this plan over years and years of experience, put our experience to work for you. A legal game plan. Don't just plan on being meeting with us for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. You're going to have to meet with us as far as it, it varies, but in a half hour to an hour or over an hour. Uh, last week, I met with somebody uh, over two hours because it's important that you understand your rights. It's important what you understand what you need to do to protect yourself and your family. And it's very important that you need to understand what the insurance company is going to do to you. We have formulated this legal game plan. We're glad to give it to you. It's it's uh, case specific. It varies um, person by person. It is also generic because we have some generic areas in there as well. But the legal game plan we can do for you. We'll be glad to. Our number 303-795-5900 and our website, championsofthepeople.com. Okay, so now you had to file a lawsuit. The insurance company forced you into filing a lawsuit. Discovery. Brad, let's explain what discovery is. There's all kinds of discovery. How important is this? What does it mean to you as the injured person? You've got the written discovery that's going to happen, and that's called interrogatories. And interrogatories is a fancy word for questions. And so there's going to be questions sent by the defendant to um, the plaintiff's lawyer or to the to, by the at-fault party's lawyer to the injured victim that the injured victim is going to have to answer. Uh, and they, they're going to get help from their lawyer, but they have to answer truthfully. You're going to have questions that are sent out by the plaintiff's lawyer to the defense, to the to the at-fault party, who also has to answer some questions. 
You have request for production of documents where you can request that certain documents be given. Each side gets to send those out. And you also have requests for admissions where you can ask the other side to admit certain relevant and material facts about the case. That's your written discovery that you're, that you're normally going to have uh, that's going to be involved in the case. It, these, this written discovery is usually sent out early. It's going to be sent out um, very soon after the case becomes an issue and before the depositions. So you have that basic information before the deposition starts. You want to be careful about how your lawyer and what your lawyer does to allow certain do documents to be turned over. If the lawyer is allowing the releases to be signed to, that allows the defense lawyer to get all of your medical records, then your lawyer's not doing his job again. He, you got to stop that. You don't want to do that. If the lawyer is is allowing you to disclose personal information that, that doesn't need to be disclosed, then there could be a problem. And that can include any kind of information about how the defense lawyer or the insurance company for the defendant can get into your to your Facebook, how they can get into your, your different um, uh, social media accounts to learn about you and be able to track you. Right. And it's very important that you do the discovery right, as Brad just said. Um, you know, some of the things that, that, that I'd like to bring up to you is let's just take a look at some of the sample questions. You're in, the, you're in litigation. You had to file a lawsuit because the insurance company wouldn't pay you. They're going to make you sue this 89-year-old person. They're going to drag that person down to court because they don't want to pay, and they don't even want to pay the amount of your medical bills. And so that's our example uh, today. So the first thing you get, you're in litigation, you get some interrogatories or questions from the def defense lawyer to you through your attorney, uh, through your attorney, and the, and some of the questions are things like, and, and remember, you, you've got to be able to timely object to some of these these questions, but questions like, have you ever been convicted of a felony? Questions, you know, and some of these questions don't need to be answered. And But but what what were your doctors in the last 20 years? Really? I mean, really, you're going to let them get away with this? You're not going to let them get away with all this. What, what were your... What, what were your medical conditions for the last past 25 years or your whole life? Have you ever had a back problem? Have you ever had a neck problem? Have you ever had a foot problem before? Are you in good health? Tell us your health problems. You don't have to enumerate all your health problems to these people. And so the first attack comes on these interrogatories, these questions. You know, Brad, and maybe we need to spend a minute talking about Alcon versus Spicer and then Garden Swartz, a couple of important cases for injured victims. Uh, if you've been injured, you need to know these things. Well, if you've been injured, maybe you don't need to know them, but your your lawyer certainly needs to know them. Your lawyer needs to know what should and shouldn't be given to the uh, to the opposing counsel. Uh, they should know what should or shouldn't be given to anybody. We, we've tried to tell you many times in the pre-litigation stage before the lawsuit starts what you should or shouldn't give as far as information to the adjuster. Once the lawsuit starts, if the complaint's been filed, you're using a lawyer to do it. If you've got a lawyer doing it, the lawyer has to be ever vigilant about making sure that your personal information is protected and making sure that information that the, ter that the defense is not entitled to is not given in those initial rounds of discovery. A lazy lawyer quite often will say, just sign the releases and send them over. Now, the lawyers sometimes say sign the release and send them over, not because they're lazy, because of a strategy, but that's where you need to be asking the lawyer strategy. In the litigation process, you should always be asking your lawyer, what's the strategy that we're using? Right. Sometimes it is the right strategy to, to, to disclose uh, certain things about your general medical condition, and we can't cover all the ins and outs of that right now. Sometimes it's okay. So, most of the time, it's not okay, and you don't have to answer some of these questions. Some of the questions you do, have, you do have to answer. So, another sample question, have you ever filed a worker's comp claim? In the last 10 years, have you ever filed a, another lawsuit or a different lawsuit? Have you ever filed a claim for a, a, an injury claim? W were you drinking alcohol within 24 hours of the accident? Were you doing drugs within 24 hours of the accident? Were you doing prescription drugs? They may not, they not, may not get to know about your prescription drugs. And that's why you need to have lawyers that care about you. You can call us anytime, 303-795-5900. Today, we're talking about the litigation of a personal injury lawsuit. You were forced to file a lawsuit. You couldn't get the case settled. The insurance company would not pay you. Now they're going to force you to go through this litigation process. So you go through these initial questions and answers, and we just touched the tip of the iceberg there, Brad. Let's talk a little bit about the depositions because uh, in Bell & Pollock, we take depositions very seriously. You're the client. You're about to go through a deposition. This is not an ordinary day or a normal process for you. 
Well, it's not an ordinary day in, or a normal process for us. It, it's something that's important that you make make sure you deal with. Um, a deposition is a question and answer period, and a lot of times those questions and answers are going to be important to deal with. Um, so you, you're going to want to, and it's very important that you, first of all, get a general explanation of what a deposition is. In our firm, we do two things. Actually, we do three. We, first of all, have a film that you watch. We, second of all, have a book we give you. You've got to be a client. You've got to be in a deposition structure for us to give you the book, but it's a book for you to read. And third, we have your lawyer sit down with you and discuss the overall deposition process. That's three things that we're doing just to educate you and get you prepared for the deposition. Right, and all that, that doesn't take happen just in a minute. It, ta it takes a lot of time to do that. And if you don't have an attorney that's spending time with you in your deposition process, you've got the wrong attorney because depositions are very important. How can depositions be important? They ask you questions and answers. Some of the same questions they ask you in the written questions called interrogatories, they ask you in the oral questions in your deposition process. How many doctors have you seen? Did you ever have a back problem before? Did you have a neck problem before? Uh, have you seen a, cons a psychiatrist? What, what the heck is that? Have you seen a... Um, a um, have you had consultation for marital problems? What the heck is that? Have you, you know, have you ever seen a counselor? A lot of times these very invasive, intrusive questions that you're going to consider annoying can be asked. A lot of times they may have some relevancy or they may lead to the discovery of admissible evidence and you're going to have to deal with it. Um, it you know, they may, they're going to ask you detailed questions about every job you've had. They're going to try and do it in your life. Uh, we, we will normally limit that. Uh, but they're going to ask you about jobs you've had, jobs you can do, your physical abilities. They're going to ask you questions about every injury you've had. And they're going to, once again, try and do it throughout your whole life. We're going to limit it. They're going to ask you about any other lawsuits or workers' compensation claims. And they're going to want to have very much detail on that. They're going to want to know about all the doctors that you've seen for any reason for at least the previous 10 years. Once again, this is something you need to be stopping you need to be stopping as the, defense, as the plaintiff's counsel. You need to be saying you can't have all that information. They're going to want to know about all your income, but a lot of times they're going to say they want your tax returns and, and your medical records for the previous five or seven years. That's something you want to be able to curtail. You want to say, look, you may not get those tax returns. Tax returns have a lot of confidential information that is not necessarily something that has to be given over to a defense lawyer. So as the questioning proceeds, you want to be careful about what the answers are, because I think last week, didn't we, Gary, we talked about how you can get trapped in a question when the deposition occurs. Right. You can get, you can trap so easily, but you need to understand the traps in advance and then answer the questions truthfully and you're going to be okay. But, but a big part of this process, a huge part of this process is understanding what you need to do, understanding how the defense lawyer is going to come at you, understanding how this defense lawyer hired and paid for by the insurance company for the at-fault party, hired and paid for by the insurance company for the at-fault party is going to come after you. And, and you know, that that's what you do. And Brad mentioned our book. Now, we have several books, but th this book about depositions, uh, not just not anybody can get. You have to be a client of Bell & Pollock to get this book. It's a book on depositions. It explains the deposition process and has a lot of very, very good information in it. But that's not our only step to prepare you. We have many steps to prepare you for your deposition, which is very important um, in our law firm. Okay, this is the Bell and Pollock Legal Show. We are injury attorneys, Bell and Pollock. We're conveniently located, basically I-25 in Orchard. We have an office in Steamboat Springs. We do cases all over the state of Colorado. We've done them in Pueblo. We've done them in Durango. We've done them in Fort Collins. I've done, we've done them in Sterling. All over the state of Colorado, we've done cases. We do car accident cases, big ones, medium and small ones. We do workers' compensation. We, injure, we represent injured workers. You can call us anytime at 303 795 5900. That's 795 5900 and in the mountain areas, Steamboat Springs and surrounding communities, 970 870 8989. At any time, you can go to our website, championsofthepeople.com. It's an information loaded website. We are Colorado's premier injury law firm, and we are your champions of the people.
Ready for an extraordinary lunch? As fast or as slow as you want it? With all fresh ingredients? Caitlin's Restaurant has it all. Express lunches that won't keep you waiting. Or, if you prefer, lunch served in that old-fashioned homemade style. All made fresh on the spot. Whether it's a fresh-made sandwich with homemade chips, quesadilla loaded with cheddar or jack cheeses, or scratch-made soups, you'll find everything you love at Caitlin's. Caitlin's is located on Mississippi just east of Colorado Boulevard next to Bookie's. How about green chili chicken stew? Think about a variety of fresh-made sandwiches or 11 different kinds of burgers made to order with one half pound of the finest USDA choice lean ground beef. You might favor a homemade New Mexican recipe with carne adovada burritos, chicken enchiladas, carnitas burritos served with hash browns, special recipe beans, cheeses with guacamole and your choice of homemade red or green chili sauces. For those who prefer the lighter side, there are fresh made salads and lighter fares. Sure to delight. Try Caitlin's for lunch or breakfast on Mississippi just east of Colorado Boulevard next to Bookie's. Call 303-798-6600. You'll love it every bite of the way. What you see is what you get. What you don't hear is everything. Let's talk about silence. Old-fashioned silence. What does silence have to do with injuries? I'm going to give you about three seconds of silence. Here you go. Silence is what you get just before a collision. Sometimes in accidents, fast turns to slow and noise turns to silence. Then the collision, then the injuries, then the life-changing event, then starts the battle with the insurance company. Hi, I'm Gary Bell of the law firm of Bell & Pollock. At Bell & Pollock, we understand that those three seconds of silence can turn your life upside down. We know how devastating injuries can be. You may not be able to work. You have medical bills. You need treatment. Listen, don't get hurt twice, once in the accident and again on the insurance claim. Talk to the lawyers who actually care about you, the injured victim. Bell & Pollock, Colorado's premier injury law firm. Our website is championsofthepeople.com or call us at 303-795-5900. One call, that's all. Good morning. Welcome back to the Bell and Pollock Legal Show. Today we're talking about the litigation process. We are injury attorneys. We represent victims of, of car crashes, traumas. We represent injured workers. You can call us anytime at 303-795-5900. Okay, we're talking about this de um, the litigation process. We've talked about interrogatories. We've talked about depositions. And uh, now let's talk just a little bit about uh, getting ready for trial. We know, Brad, when we go to trial, we can't mention insurance because in front of the jury because the jury's not to be told that there's an insurance uh, covering this 89-year-old person. They're, the insurance company wants them to think that you and we and your plaintiff are suing this 89-year-old person. So um, let's talk about how we get proof in, doctors, uh, doctor's proof, treatment, and that's why it's so important that you treat. Well, it, it is because uh, the... the in, in all of a sudden in a trial, let's just put it this way, in a trial, the defense tries to put up what I call a Pollyanna type, wonderful world way that somebody should be living and dealing with their injuries. And they don't look at real life. In real life is at times things take over your injuries and your pain and you have to deal with them. And so they look for any gap in treatment. They look for anything that they can argue, even if it's not, but they can argue is inconsistent with an injury. And they try to convince the jury to stop looking at real life, but to look at this pretend life, that this is the way you would be treating if you were truly hurt or injured or in pain. This is the way you would be acting if you were really truly in pain. And they try to convince the jury that that makes the plaintiff a liar and that makes the plaintiff somebody who's who's fabricating and they get very well high paid doctors who are paid a lot of money by insurance companies to come in and support that position and that's the way they they in a nutshell will will try to to beat you in the litigation process exactly and next week we're, we're going to be talking about a tax that you can uh you can understand some of these attacks these insurance companies through their attorneys that they pay that represents the person who hits you. You know, who's on your side? Uh, you're going to understand some of these attacks that they make on you. And we're going to go through it a little bit more uh, in a little bit more detail. So you'll understand some of the attacks, some of the strategies they use, and what goes on behind the scenes in litigation. Okay, this is the Bell and Pollock Legal Show. Gary Bell, Brad Pollock. Our law firm is Bell and Pollock. We do injury cases all over the state of Colorado, all four corners and in between, big car cases, medium car cases, small car cases. If you've injured, been injured by a commercial truck, give us a call. We've done them before. They're a special breed. Just go to our website and take a look there. You'll find out how a special breed these truck injuries and truck crashes are. 
You can go to our website. And by the way, when you, when you go to our website, championsofthepeople.com, there's a feature there called Meeting by Accident. Meeting by Accident. If you click on that, uh, it gives you the answers to the most commonly asked questions people ask when they've been involved in a car accident. How cool is that? You can do that. Okay, so we'll be with you next week. Gary Bell, Brad Pollock, our law firm is Bell and Pollock. We are Colorado's premier injury law firm, and we are your champions of the people.